Syracuse Tennis improves to 3-1 and one at home after a 5-2 win against Buffalo on Saturday. Now compared to the Orange's last home duel, there were four lineup changes. Head coach Yunus Imam says he's still figuring out the best pairings before ACC play kicks off next week. So we're just trying to, to give ourselves a little bit more uh, options and flexibility and sometimes what we take in consideration are the matchups too. It depends on what teams we're playing and we, we try to adjust to that. Now the Bulls are anything but an unfamiliar foe for the Orange. In fact, the two faced off in early November. And in that duel, Miyuki Kimoto played the same opponent in her singles match as she did on Saturday. Coach Lamam says that was a key advantage into playing a much better match this time around. We knew what we, what to expect from her opponents. I think her opponents like to make a lot of balls and just uh, extend the rallies. And uh, super proud of uh, Miyuka, how she was focused at the beginning and just played aggressive tennis. She committed to her shots and, and just took it from there. SU gets less than 24 hours of rest before they take on Niagara on Sunday. The Purple Eagles and the Orange actually teamed up in that early November Invitational, but Niagara has never won a point against the Qs in regular season play. Follow along at Citrus TV Sports on Twitter for live updates courtside starting at 11 a.m. Reporting from Drumlins, Phil Galati, Citrus TV.